中意都夠。Members, so we have attained the quorum. It's about time to make a start. Item one: Confirmation of minutes of the 29th meeting held on June the 14th. The minutes have been made available to members. I have received uh, no proposed amendments. Can I take the minutes as confirmed? Matters arising. The CS made the point that uh, regarding the 2013-14. PA and budget uh, timetable. Um, the chief executive uh, will deliver his uh, policy address on the 15th of January 2014. The Q and A uh, on the budget uh, will uh, take place on the 16th of um, January, and the financial secretary will deliver his budget on the 26th of um, February 2014, and the um, budget. Um, Debate uh, will take place on the 9th and 10th of, twin, uh, of uh, April in 2014, and the third um, debate um, for the 16th of April 2014. The days have to be endorsed uh, by the President. Ms. M. Lilau, well, you were galloping too quickly. Can you uh, repeat why well, I was uh, going very slowly? You just didn't pay attention. Uh, please, um, Chairman. Right for the uh, policy address, it will be delivered uh, on the 15th of January 2014, and the Q&A session for the PA will take place on the 16th of January 2014. The budget uh, will be delivered on the 26th of uh, February 2014, and the uh, budget debate uh, will take place on the 9th and 10th of April 2014, and the third. Um, budget um, debate uh, will take place uh, on the 16th of um, April 2014. That's the date um, for the um, voting of the budget. Any questions? If not, business arising from previous council meetings, a legal service division report and bill referred to the House in accordance with uh, Rule 54.4. Uh, legal advisor, please. Chairman, thank you. The Supplementary Appropriation 2012-2013 uh, Bill, uh, please refer to LS 62, stroke 12 to 13. The bill seeks to provide for um, supplementary appropriation um, in addition to the sum appropriated by the Appropriation Ordinance 2012, and the FS has been given the um, authorization, and here in this bill, all the details are set out, and, uh, and the bill is uh, presented to uh, get the final um, authorization. And this is um, a bill that was uh, not subject to any consultation. Uh, we haven't got any. Uh, further comments to add. Bills committee, no. Right then, this uh, will be uh, given um, second reading. Legal Service Division report on subsidiary legislation gazetted on June the 14th. Legal advisor, um, we must please refer to paper LS 61. Uh, there are seven items divided into four parts. Part one. Control measures um, in respect of uh, specified disease. The two notices are in relation to um, the WHO's decision to rename the uh, severe respiratory disease associated with North Norfolk coronavirus as. Um, Middle East um, Respiratory Syndrome. And in the relevant ordinance, um, i.e., the Prevention and Control of um, Disease Ordinance, um, there, there is a need to update um, the two schedules. This has got nothing to do with um, the policy matters. And um, therefore, they were not taken to the panel for consultation. The second one. Chairman is in connection with uh, the two markets. 
under the Public Health and Municipal Services Ordinance. Um, they will uh, cease um, to be in operation, and they are the Kuang Choi Market and the Mong Kok Market. Third, um, Chairman, is um, to increase uh, the basic pension and the pensions uh, for widows and orphans under the Pensions Increase Ordinance and the Widows and Orphans Pension Increase Ordinance with effect from uh, the 1st of April. In accordance with the Consumer Price Index A, um, an increase of 3.5%, uh, um, there will be an increase um, in the uh, basic pension and the pensions for uh, widows and orphans um, by 3.5% uh, to go into effect on the 1st of April this year. The um, last uh, last one is um, the UN Sanctions Iran Amendment Regulation 2013 under the UN Sanctions Ordinance. This is to give effect um, to the resolutions uh, made by the UN in relation to Iran. Um, the, this has come into operation on June the 14th. Thank you, Chairman. Well, for the uh, UN uh, sanction and uh, regulation, we uh, refer this um, to the sit host uh, subcommittee, uh, as usual. Um, do, do we see the need for subcommittee for other pieces of uh, subsidiary legislation? If not, uh, then the deadline for amendment is um, July the 17th. Further business for the Council meeting of June the 26th. Report um, number 19, stroke 12 to 13 of the House Committee on consideration of subsidiary legislation and other instruments. There are 12 items, including um, the Business Registration Ordinance Amendment of Schedule 2 Order 2013, the period of amendment of which will expire on June the 26th. There are two members who have indicated their intention to speak. Uh, in my capacity as Chairman of the House Committee, I will be moving a motion to take note of um, the report. Questions? Mr. Charles Smock and Mr. Kelly Chen have replaced their oral questions. Bills, resumption of debate on second reading committee stage and third reading in and revenue amendment bill amendment number two bill twenty thirteen government motion proposed resolution to be moved by the CS under article seventy three seven of the basic law of um, the Hong Kong SAR of the PRC and section seven A of the Hong Kong Court of Final Appeal Ordinance and this is um, to appoint um, the um, the, um, the senior judicial uh, officers. We have uh, heard a reporter from the um, committee. Business for the council meeting on June, uh, July the third. Uh, questions. Uh, there are twenty-two questions, six oral and sixteen que uh, written bills. Uh, first reading. We haven't received any notice yet. Bills. Resumption of debate on second reading committee stage and third reading. Betting duty amendment bill twenty thirteen. We have uh, received no notice of government motions. Members' motions. Mr. Sin Chung Kai will move a motion on facing up to the aspirations of the people participating in the march on July 1st, and Mr. Ip Kok Him uh, to move a motion on formulating population policy. For amendments, um, the deadline is um, June the 25th. Report of bills, committees, and subcommittees, report of the bills, committee on Inland Revenue and Stamp Duty Legislation, alternate, alternative bond schemes, Amendment Bill 2012. Mr. Chen Kam Lam. Chairman, thank you. We have uh, held seven meetings uh, with the administration and listened to uh, deputations. The bills committee supports um, the bill. We also note 
that um, the market players and um, deputations would like to see this enacted as soon as possible. Uh, so that Hong Kong can be promote, promoted as a platform for issuing Islamic bonds. Issues uh, discussed include um, the uh, ABS uh, operation and the five most common um, investment um, arrangements for Islamic bonds, tax um, treatment, um, record keeping, tax avoidance, and how we can we should beef up the infrastructure for the development of Islamic bonds. The Bills Committee will not move any CSAs and will support um, the CSAs to be moved by the administration. The Bills Committee supports um, the idea of having a resumption debate on the 10th of July. All the deliberations have been set out in the report. Thank you. Next, report of the Bills Committee on Air Pollution Control Amendment Bill 2013, Mr. Charles Mock, Chairman. The Bills Committee has completed um, the deliberations. The Air Pollution Control Amendment Bill 2013 proposes to repeal the uh, Secretary for, for Environment's power to promulgate air quality objectives in a technical memorandum. Instead, a set of updated AQOs, uh, which is subject to review at least once every five years, uh, is to be uh, provided in the Air Pollution Control Ordinance. The administration pointed out that um, the new AQO is uh, based on the mid-term and ultimate objective of the WHO guidelines and are comparable to the EU and US um, standards. In the course of deliberation, the uh, members uh, expressed concerns on the impacts on the members of the public and different sectors of the community. The administration uh, made a point that um, they have struck a balance between public health and the impacts on different sectors. Also, the Bills Committee notes that uh, in implementing the new AQOs, um, there will be transitional arrangement for designated projects with um, environment permit granted under the EIAO before the commencement of the new AQOs. For these projects, an application for variation of the EP lodged within 36 months of the commencement of the new AQOs will be considered on the basis of the old AQOs. This transitional arrangement serves to preserve the integrity of the EIA system and provide regulatory certainty for project proponents who have completed the EIA process. The Bills Committee will be submitting a report in writing. We um, support a um, resumption debate on the 10th of July. Neither the Bills Committee nor the Administration will move any amendments. Next, a report of the Bills Committee on Arbitration Amendment Bill 2013, Mr. Uh, Priscilla Leung. Chairman, the Bills Committee has completed its work. Uh, our deliberations are sent out in the report uh, made available to members. In response to members' views uh, regarding the drafting, the Administration is um, going to move uh, committee stage amendments. All the details are set out in paragraph 16 of the report. The administration made the point that um, the bill, if enacted, uh, will be implemented in two phases. The administration will move um, CSAs um, to specify this uh, phased uh, implementation. The administration will also um, move amendments to add Miramar to the schedule to the arbitration parties to New York Convention Order, CAP uh, 609. The Bills Committee did urge the administration to proactively consider entering into an arrangement with uh, Taiwan similar to that uh, with Macau for mutual recognition and enforcement of um, the arbitration awards. Under the legislation, there should be measures to promote Hong Kong as um, a regional arbitration service center. The Bills Committee supports um, the proposal to have a resumption debate on the 10th of July to implement a part of um, the bill. Right, moving on next um, to the Inland Revenue Amendment Bill 2013, Mr. Chen uh, Mao Chen Kinpo. Chairman, I like to make a report on behalf of uh, Mr. Kenneth Leung. Um, the Inland Revenue Amendment Bill 2013 
is intended to uh, put in place the legal framework uh, for Hong Kong to enter into tax information exchange arrangements with other jurisdictions, and also uh, the uh, EOI arrangement to bring this in line with the interna international practice and to seek um, to enter into uh, comprehensive avoidance of double taxation agreements with other places. Considering the fact that uh, we have good reputation for tax transparency and we have, in order to increase our competitiveness, the Bills Committee supports um, the proposal. We also support a resumption debate on the 10th of July. The administration and um, or neither the administration nor the committee members uh, will move any amendments. In the course of deliberation, the um, committee did consider all the implications on taxpayers. The administration uh, made the point that um, they will not um, change the IRO uh, requirement um, regarding keeping record, uh, business and rental records for seven years. At the moment, um, all these uh, taxpayers and privacy Taxpayers' privacy, confidentiality, under the IR disclosure information rules are well applied to the two arrangements. The member suggested that there should be an independent monitoring mechanism uh, to make sure that um, the EOI requests are dealt with uh, prudently. And some even just suggested an appeal mechanism. However, we have to make it in time for the OECD review in September, lest Hong Kong be labelled as an uncooperative jurisdiction. The government uh, will not entertain any requests for change for the time being, but they will. They, they've undertaken to, to listen to further views re regarding how this can be optimised. All the details will be uh, set out in the report to be submitted. Next is the report of the Bills Committee on Hong Kong Arts Development Council Amendment Bill 2013. Mr. Kok Kim. Chairman, the Bills Committee has com completed the, the vetting of the bill. The objective of the bill is to repeal the restrictions that organizations or groups of organizations may only nominate one representative in each art interest. This is also to amend sections 3, 4, and 3, 5 to specify that in relation to each art's interest, it can be specified as organizations or individual or both. We have convened two meetings. And members note that uh, the current ordinance um, under Section 3 in relation to the nomination of representatives of art interest uh, to be a member of the ADC, the Art Development Council, there are certain regulations. And in relation to the nomination process and details, it is done by administrative arrangements. The administration advised that uh, the existing arrangements is not um, in line with the relevant um, provisions under the ordinance, so they uh, introduce proposals to, to amend it, uh, to amend the ordinance. And in our deliberation process, apart from asking questions and having discussions, members in general um, expressed a different views in relation to which um, bodies or individuals may participate in the individual arts interest under the ADC, uh, that is, in relation to the eligibility. The committee asked the administration to consider expanding the eligibility, um, the scope of eligibility, so that more people can participate in the nomination process. The committee have, has reflected the views expressed to the HA panel uh, for the um, panel and the administration to have further discussions. And in relation to the proposal to amend Section 3.5, that is, um, change from specifying organization or groups of organization to specifying organization or individuals for each of the interests listed. Well, I think we think the administration, the committee thinks that um, it can be specified as to the definition of individuals so that uh, members in the trade can decide whether they are eligible. Um, we do not object to the second reading resumption of, uh, of the bill on, on the 10th of July, and we will not introduce any uh, CSAs. A detailed report will be submitted shortly. Ms. Ho, just now, 
Um, Mr. Ipko Kim mentioned that uh, there is a no clear definition when it comes to organizations or individuals, neither in the uh, interpretation um, nor in the schedules. We find this, uh, satis this situation highly unsatisfactory because if there is no clear definition of uh, eligibility, it will be rather confusing. So I will consider moving a CSA. Position on bills committee and subcommittees. We currently have uh, 12 bills committee, eight subcommittees under the HC, one subcommittee on policy issues, and two subcommittees on other council business, seven uh, subcommittees on policy issues under panels, and three subcommittees on policy issues that are on the waiting list. Dr. Fernando Zhang, the duty roster member, asked to um, get a priority allocation of the base slot. For, uh, to our duty roster member, Mr. Zhang. On behalf of the other six uh, duty roster, roster members, they are um, Mr. Lee Kwok Lun, um, Ellen Leung, Yip Kin Yun, Tang Ka Biu, and one other members. Propose these uh, suggestions in relation to a uh, complaint um, conference. On the 3rd of June, we have received a deputation of uh, parents that are parents of uh, people with their disabilities. We've heard them. We've heard about their difficulties, um, insufficient support, and in special schools, their children have been waiting. May have been waiting for a very long time. Still, they cannot get a place in day activity centers and uh, sheltered workshops. Is a waste of time. They've been waiting for a very long time, and these people have uh, simply forgotten about all the knowledge and skills they have acquired in the special sk schools. And as a result, resources devoted to these schools have gone to the drain. And because of uh, insufficient resources and support, parents face great difficulty. Some of them are suffering from mental illnesses and they have to receive mental treatment. Some of the parents have a suicidal thoughts. They wanted to end their lives and those of their children to end the ordeal and their miserable lives. So there is an urgent need to deal with these complaint um, cases. That is, the shortfall of places in day activity centers and shelter workshops, and also uh, insufficient places in um, respite services. There is an urgency to provide support to these parents. So all our duty roster members would like to get a uh, priority allocation of debate slot under Rule 14, Record 1, so that we can have a debate on the issue at the council meeting on the 17th of July and for members to express their views. We also urge the administration to take immediate follow-up action. We suggest that if um, our request is approved by the, by the House committee, the slot will not be treated as the one that the debate slot I have. We've had a discussion with the Secretariat, and I, let me tell you about what me and the, secretar the Secretariat have done. I'm the chairman of the HC, so I am neutral um, because my focus is on procedures. And under the existing mechanism, after duty roster member has dealt with a case, the policy issues may be referred to the relevant subcommittee or panel for further um, action. And if the panel is of the view that under House Rules 14 bracket A, a uh, priority slot can be given, they may do. They may uh, make a request. If the HC has to every single time decide whether an approval should be given for a such exceptional case, uh, it will not be appropriate. Earlier on in the commission, Ms. Emily Lau asked the Secretariat to look into the operation of the complaints mechanism.
we will have to wait for the commission of um, rules of procedure to this to make a decision first. So I c I tell you that there is a mechanism. It has to go back to the panel for the panel to have a discussion with the administration asking for explanations from the administration. This is a one possibility. Ms. Emily Lau, thank you. Two minutes each. Thank you for the background information. Yes, indeed. In the commission, I have mentioned this because uh, it is stated in the basic law uh, to be part of our functions that is dealing with complaints. So perhaps we can set up a subcommittee to monitor the complaints division, the operation of the complaints division. If it involves uh, policy issues, yes, it can be debated uh, in, in a council meeting. We might have gone a little bit too fast. In the relation to complaint cases or the policy issues, uh, they usually are uh, referred to panels. But very often, there is a, already a lot of workload but for the panels, and they don't have time to deal with it. And this is a serious issue. It's not the case that we deliberately gate crash. We need the consent of members. It's uh, towards the end of the session. If members support Mr. Zhang's proposal, well, this involves a policy, um, a mis um, a mis a maladministration. So. A lot of members found that agreeable. That's why we come to the House Committee. Of course, we have a later discussion about um, about these issues, and I'm sure that you have come across such serious and heartbreaking cases uh, during that conference. Uh, parents were crying. We hope that uh, members will vote for. Uh, Mr. Jones' proposal so, so that we can have a discussion in a uh, debate in July. I think the Secretariat has already started the, the review. Ms. Tape Kokim. Thank you. Well, Parents um, of uh, autistic ch children and children with disabilities have raised the issues and were all concerned about the inadequacies of support given to them. It's an issue that is close to our heart, and we know that there is a subcommittee looking into the issue, and it's followed up by uh, the panel. Chairman, just now you mentioned about an, a mechanism that is already in place. If a priority slot is to be obtained, well, at least under the mechanism, they have to go to the panel for discussion first. About the complaints mechanism, well, we can set up a subcommittee to follow it up. It may be more effective. We have to have a detailed discussion about handling it the way Mr. Zhang asked um, to. The DAB had a discussion. We do not agree with a proposal that due to roster members ask for a priority uh, slot to deal with the issues. If members think there is an urgency, The issue can be raised in a motion, in a member's motion. And um, yes, uh, maybe we need a, a review on the complaints me um, mechanism. Mr. James Tian. Just now, Mr. Jung talks about uh, taking care of the um, Underprivileged, that they've met with the parents is quite heartbreaking, and there is um, errors in the policy. There is an inadequate support, but 
after having a debate, the problem still exists, and this issue has been plaguing us for quite a long time. So, why do we need a priorities slot? It's not the case that I don't care about the underprivileged. But what will happen after a debate? It's a non-binding motion. The administration is fully alive to the problems. Well, they have um, about two per, uh, about two hundred and eighty billion dollars. They can use the they can use it to do a lot. I think we should follow the approach. Uh, proposed by um, the secretariat, that is, in accordance with the established mechanism. Well, if well, you can use your own time slot to have a debate on this issue. There are many other issues that are of concern to society. Say, for example, the possible increase of interest. It may drive down prices in the stock market. So you have to get in the queue. Well, I only have uh, several seconds left. The, li the Liberal Party objects to the proposal, but we are concerned with the, the issues, and we support Mr. Zhang in, in, his, uh, in his fight to get them help, some help. Mr. Guang, when nothing uh, about likelihood is done too trivial, I think we are here. We are here merely to engage in talking. Mr. Fernando Zhou is saying that uh, the government is uh, doing uh, a, a bad job. We should uh, bring this up uh, for a debate uh, on the 17th of July before we um, move into recess. I think we have to uh, to start a reform. Uh, we, we have to uh, bring in um, a system uh, where we should um, uh, bang our gong and um, and launch our protest. I think it's, it's just like uh, the imperial uh, examination in the old days, and um, you are given a, uh, some quotation to uh, to elaborate. I do think I, I find this um, tolerable. A, a lot of uh, taxpayers' money has been spent, and you are uh, raising people's hope. Uh, but I mean, you are driving people into desperation. I think we do need to to have some debate on July the seventeenth. And Mr. James Dean has got a point. If you think that um, the tapering uh, of um, the QE is important, the, the increase in interest rate, rate is important. Bring this up. I mean, we if uh, we're talking about a certain subject, uh, you're talking about something else. The DAB. Uh, said that uh, we have to um, change uh, the system first. I think uh, no ref uh, no system can be changed unless uh, we destroy the old one. If uh, we have a debate on the 17th, uh, we are um, taking uh, an exceptional move, and I think this can show the people of Hong Kong that we are very concerned about the issue. Mr. Jeffrey Lam, Chairman, we do have issues um, dear to our heart. Um, the um, U.S. Um, uh, Secretary of Treasury already made a point that uh, there is likely a likelihood uh, for an exit um, of the uh, QE, and there are um, worries that um, there will be capital outflow uh, in Hong Kong um, to the detriment of um, employment and the property market. This is uh, something very of uh, very serious concern to us. Many years ago, uh, when the bubble burst, many people were mired in uh, equity, negative equity. We have uh, run out of investors. We have uh, no jobs, and this uh, had bearing uh, on the economy and on the livelihood. Now, when we are talking about serious subjects, I'm wondering why some members are um, are laughing like that. If you're not concerned about this, fine. And I do think you should be uh, merely uh, talking to yourself like this. I think you have to show um, a little bit of respect for other members. Chairman, I don't support uh, the idea of um, queue jumping. 
we do have issues of concern to us, and this is not something that we started discussing today. And I think we have to um, abide by the rules, Mr. Anne Long. On June the third, um, I was a DRM, um, one of the DRM members, one of the seven. As well. I like to uh, let members know why I support this um, idea. I think between the executive and the legislature, the DRM does have a role to play. Mr. Fernando Jung brought up um, this arrangement. I wouldn't deny that this is a new arrangement, but if um, this new arrangement can be put in place at a time when the executive uh, is uh, failing in uh, its duty, if uh, we can garner more support from the members of the public for our work, if we can uh, give them something uh, to face up to this um, maladroit administration, an administration that doesn't want to do anything, if we can give them a, um, um, a ventilation valve, it would be uh, worth um, considering. This uh, may involve a change of the, the, uh, the mechanism. And that's precisely why we're bringing this up here for uh, HC's um, endorsement. I respect uh, Mr. James Dean. There are many issues of concern to us, economic issues, livelihood issues, and whatnot. So the gatekeeping role is um, the House uh, is played by the House Committee. I think for these um, parents of uh, autistic uh, children and and also for these autistic children there are subjects more important than 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 these now we are dealing with uh, loads of issues we have so many things on our plate it is a question of uh, how we prioritize all these issues if we can change uh, the system uh, then the house committee can certainly play a gatekeeping role dr kokaki chairman uh, well i heard that um, despite the debate, uh, things will go on uh, like um, normal. I, I beg to differ. Now, the um, motions are, are not um, binding on the administration. I mean, just go in one, go in one ear and out the other. Now, we would like to have um, some debates uh, so that the officials uh, will give us uh, more focused uh, replies. Now, these parents are in desperation in many of uh, the panels we understand that uh, welfare services panel or health uh, services panel they they are chock a block with um, agenda items that we simply cannot uh, fit this one in uh, for any discussion and this is the last day of uh, the session that we talk about we very much hope that uh, before we um, rise uh, for the summer we would be able to have an opportunity to debate um, this very special subject. If you are concerned about them, you have to, to, to do something to show them that uh, we are supporting them. Now, um, we, we do respect our members um, right here, and uh, one of the members bring this up, and it, it may not be the case that all subjects are uh, would deserve uh, this kind of treatment, but this, this is a special case. I hope that um, members from the business community, uh, of course, they are concerned about other subjects. They they should consider uh, this uh, subject as well. Some members uh, said that uh, there may be uh, an interest rate hike uh, going forward. In fact, uh, if uh, the panel cannot uh, have any time, why why don't you bring bring them up uh, here for further discussion? Right, there are five uh, more members who have pressed the button to speak. Um, do I hear any, any more? Um, otherwise, I draw a line there and uh, I leave enough time to um, get this issue out of the way. Mr. Li Chao Yan. Chairman, the rules of um, the House Committee. can be um, uh, 
can be changed uh, for us to, um, um, to to have a debate. Now we do have um, the system um, in order that um, the DRM can play more of um, a role. We should allow them uh, more room to help um, the the members of the public who are. Uh, making the um, representations. Maybe we haven't got the opportunity to listen to their representation. If we have, um, maybe we would um, feel compelled to, to support them. Some uh, parents are under tremendous pressure and they are driven to uh, being suicidal. You may say that uh, despite the debate, uh, we may, may not change anything, but at least uh, we can um, discharge our duty to uh, to force the administration. Now, since a lot of us are not part of the representation, and those uh, who were involved um, are suggesting that um, there should be a debate, why don't we uh, respect uh, those um, members uh, who uh, sat on the DRM? Why don't we respect um, the uh, members of the public who uh, attended the meeting? Now, what are your rationale for objecting um, the proposal? If you have listened to um, the uh, DRM, probably you would um, uh, bring bring yourself um, uh, to support this idea, Mr. Wuchiwai, Chairman. Many members expressed their concerns. Now we have um, the DRM uh, system and. I think uh, we have the uh, obligation to try our best um, to uh, seek a reply from the administration to their plight. Here in this council, we express our views uh, on different subjects. The debate may not be binding, but in the light of our experience, this will enable us to form a consensus um, to to. Um, Make the administration face up to the issue. Now, with uh, so many members making the uh, suggestion for a debate to be held on the last day of um, this ter this um, legislative year, I think it is um, something um, obligatory on our part. I hope the members will support this idea. Of course, there are many. Subjects um, that are of concern to us, and I think that um, within this council, if um, there are certain things that uh, members would like to bring up for debate, uh, then I would be prepared to allocate um, time slot uh, for for this to happen, even if it means um, we're going to be working harder. Uh, I find this uh, to be. Uh, obligatory on our part uh, to um, engage in a debate because we would like uh, to be able to convince or persuade the administration to um, face up to the issue. I urge members to uh, support this proposal. Right, perhaps um, I um, take min ten minutes um, out of the finance committee meeting. Ms. Cordiembo. Chairman, we are concerned about different subjects. The economy would be important because uh, without um, the economy, um, we can't survive. But this uh, motion by Mr. Fernando Jung is um, extraordinary. It's not the case that uh, he will be making similar suggestion every Friday. I didn't sit on the DRM myself, and I know all these um, families. Personally, you said there are so many things of concern to us in Hong Kong. I, I think uh, people are most concerned about the real estate, the property prices, and the rental housing. We don't need to uh, seek queue jumping for all these subjects, unless um, those uh, who are living in the rough under the flyover. Um, there is um, not. This is not a matter of life and death. If uh, you've met. Um, these parents, if you think that um, the debate uh, will be fruitless, now many times uh, the debates are fruitless, and uh, many times uh, we're not um, on the way same wavelength, and 
members um, are tagging on the debate uh, subject um, their, their own um, add-ons. But I mean, we are uh, suggesting a debate to highlight the urgency of the matter. And we hope that um, the administration would be uh, exercising their discretion uh, to uh, to care for these uh, suicidal mothers. Mr. Kenneth Chen, seven members from different political parties <coughs> met with the members of the public who came to the complaints division of the LegCo. We are we unanimously think that a priority slot should be given for us to debate this uh, to have a debate on this issue. I strongly agree with that. This is not an individual decision of a member. This is a collective decision, an unanimous one. And members, please understand. That it is not the case that uh, Dr. Fernando Zhang and uh, the remaining six members would like to jump the queue. The parents who came to the complaints division face plights and difficulties as a result of inadequate policy support and ineffective um, measures and lack of assistance. I fully understand the plight they are in. So if the House Committee agrees to the proposal, the administration will realize that there is a sp additional importance attached to this issue. So I ask members to agree with Mr. Fernando Zhang and the other duty roster members so that this will be debated in a in the council meeting to show the administration that there is an urgency in relation to this issue and has to be dealt with on a special case as a special case dr Jones, i would like to talk about the urgency of the matter we're talking about families who've been waiting for over 5 years after graduating from special schools so children don't have, don't uh, get a chance to receive continu uh, continuous support for the parents. If, say, for example, if they have to undergo an operation, they there is no way they can turn to to um, to get someone to take care of their children. There is no respite service. A lot of the parents are crying, so all seven members think that there is this is an urgent matter the summer holiday is approaching you know, while whilst members are planning their vacation these parents are thinking about how they can survive inside an oven like home during summer because they dare not go out so i ask you to give us a chance under Rule 14A, just a chance. We, we are fully aware that it may come to nothing, but if we don't speak for the underprivileged, if we can't even speak for them, then I find it regrettable. Sorry, your time's up. Mr. Jung asked the House Committee to, under Rule 14 bracket I, for an, a priority allocation of debate slot, so that Mr. Zhang may debate may uh, debate on the motion of uh, the shortfall of places in day activity centers and shelter workshops and the well-being of persons with disability, and now put it to a vote. I've already drawn a line. Sorry, I, I thought I was within that line. Those in favor, please raise their hands. Ms. Emily La asked for a division. The division bell will be rung for five minutes. Is that this? Uh I'd like to remind, but to, well, first, uh, please ring the bell. I'd like to remind members that the seven members represent us. 
in their meeting with um, the deputations. So it's not a matter of, uh, of the seven individuals. Yes, I'm sure members are fully aware of this. Well, while the bell is ringing, I'd like to remind members that uh, the next meeting is scheduled to take place at quarter past three. If I do not uh, call for a, a meeting within the designated time, then the meeting will be aborted. So please uh, uh, stay behind so that at half past three, I can call the meeting to order. Voting begins.
Those in favor, please raise your hands. Those against, please raise your their hands. La Wang Fan Lam Kin Fong Lo Wai Kwok, Christopher Chan, please raise your hands. Vincent Fang, Frankie Yik. Uh, uh, James Tian, uh, James Tian, um, Tommy Jiang, Alice Mark, Chen Yun Hang, Wong Kok Kin, Pun Siu Ping. Did you raise your hand? Ng Lang Sing, Chen Hang Pan, Stephen Ho, Chen Kam Lam, Wong Ting Kwong, Tam Yu Chung, Yip Kwok Kim. An Chang, Gary Chan, Christopher Jung. On this side, Chen Kim Po, Tony Che, Yu Si Wing. Abstention, Ma Fong Kwok, and Martin Neal. Are those who abstain? Uh, Mrs. Regina Iabav already announced your name. Those who abstain, please raise your hand. Ms. Priscilla Leung. Let me read out the names who are against. Long Kwok Hong Chen Chi Chun Wong Yu. Sorry, support, support. Long Kwok Hong Raymond Chan, Albert Chan, Wong Yu Man, Sid Ho, Leng Yu Chong, Peter Chang, Kenneth Chan, Claudia Mo, Fernando Zhang, Li Chuan Yan, Alan Leng, Kokaki, Frederick Fong, Joseph Lee. Charles Mock, Yip Kin Yun, Emily Lau, Wu Chi Wai, Xin Chong Kai, and, and, um, and Ronnie Tong. So, 21 for, 27 against, and one abstention. Meeting adjourned. Mm.